Hi everyone, I'm Steven, and today I'm making Doctor Strange's sling ring out of cardboard. If you're curious, please subscribe, like this video, and let's get to it! To start off, I took a strip of cereal box cardboard that was thinner than the bottom segment of my fingers. I took that strip and curved it around my index and middle finger while making sure to leave a little gap between the two fingers. To keep this gap from just folding in half, I stuck the back of my paintbrush in between it. This just helped give it a little curve that looks just like the curve in the middle of Doctor Strange's ring. Once it had a nice curve, I started covering the strip of cardboard in two layers of masking tape. The tape makes the cardboard a little bit stronger, but also helps it retain the curve if you tape it carefully. I was careful to keep the strip from flattening out, but I plan to reinforce the curve later on so I'm not too worried if it does flatten out. Throughout this entire build, I kept curving it around my fingers to make sure that it was fitting correctly. Anyway, I took another strip of cereal box cardboard and wrapped and taped it around my finger so it would literally become a ring. I used this ring to figure out how wide my fingers were so I could draw the design of the sling ring around it. And that's exactly what I did. I traced it onto a piece of cardboard and sketched out the side of the ring before cutting it out. I needed another one for the other side of the ring, so I just traced that shape onto more cardboard and cut it out so I'd have two identical pieces. Before I glued the two sides onto the curved strip, I needed to make sure that the strip was a little bit sturdier. To accomplish that, I hot glued two small rectangles to the sides of the tiny middle curve and then added in a stack of corrugated cardboard in between this gap. Once the glue is dry, that center curve is held in place and I now have a surface to glue on the two side pieces. I glued the first side flush against it so it would lie flat, but the other side it needed to be angled out slightly. In order to get an angle, I just glued it on top of a bigger heap of glue. I let that cool and then added some small rectangles to both of the ends in order to connect the two sides together while also acting as an end cap for each of the ends. It's a little hard to see in the video right now, but you'll get plenty of looks later on in the video. Basically, I just glued on some scraps to help complete all the sides of the ring. Anyway, I just glued a strip of corrugated cardboard in the middle of the ring to help give it some structural support. However, it also gave me a surface where I could apply more glue in order to glue the flat top onto the ring. And for the flat top, I just traced the ring onto some cereal box cardboard, cut it out, and glued it on. Once the top was on, it was then time to start adding on all the decorations and embellishments. I started this step by tracing the top of the sling ring onto a scrap piece of cardboard and roughly sketching out where I wanted the two circular pieces on top to go. For reference, they're just going to lie right above your knuckles. I cut those circles out, doubled them up in two layers each, made a few more smaller circles, and then used a hole punch in order to get even tinier circles. When I eventually glue them all together, they're going to kind of look like little stacked gears. For the border around the outside of the ring, I took a very thin strip of cereal box cardboard and twisted it into a corkscrew design. This kind of copied the bumpy woven texture on the actual prop. If you do this, I recommend to twist the cardboard gently because it is delicate and does rip easily. I super glued this strip along the outside of the top of the ring, gluing each corner first and then going back in and adding more super glue along the entire side to help everything stick. The super glue also acts as a hardener when it dries so it won't be so delicate. After that, I glued on those stacks of circles that resembled gears and started gluing on all the other embellishments. These pieces are just scrap pieces of cereal box cardboard that I super glued into place. I try to follow the reference pictures I saw online, but in all honesty, these designs are either just flat or circular shapes with some mechanical looking details. To get some of the rounded strips, I rolled small pieces of masking tape and cut them to size. I even added in some scrap pieces of twisted cardboard that I used for the border of the ring just for some added texture. To wrap up the decorations, I just glued on strips of cardboard that run from the bottom of each of the little circular gears to the bottom of the ring, as well as the two end wraps. I think it looks pretty good so far, but I'm going to need to finish off the base and give the bottom its curve back. So I first will cut the ends of the curved strip to the desired length and carefully roll them so they look like tiny little scrolls. I use super glue in order to prevent the scrolls from unraveling. Once that glue was completely dry, I tucked the scrolled end pieces into the bottom of the ring and completely covered the curved portions in two layers of super glue. The super glue hardens and helps the cardboard stay curved. 
However, the glue is going to smell and probably give off toxic fumes. So if you do this, do it in a well-ventilated area and try not to breathe in. I let that dry for about an hour to make sure that all the glue is dried before I started painting. As usual, I painted it in gloss black craft paint. The one I use is craft chalkboard paint, but any gloss black paint will do. Then I painted on a layer of champagne gold craft paint, which is basically just dark gold, before adding two light layers of light gold craft paint. After all that dried, I used a pen to draw on some squiggles on both sides of the ring. I also added another layer of super glue onto the curved part just to make sure that it stays curved. I'm going to let that dry and I'll be back with the finished product. So there you have it, Doctor Strange's sling ring made from cardboard and masking tape. There are a few sling ring designs, but I chose this one because I like the design and I'm pretty sure it's the one Doctor Strange actually wears and uses. I really like the way it looks and it's super comfortable to slide on and off. If you want your ring to be tighter, just add some more super glue to harden the curved portion, or you could actually add a thin, sturdy wire under the tape in order to help it hold its shape. I'm really happy with this cardboard sling ring and I hope it shows you that you don't need fancy materials to make something look cool. Oh, and if you want to see how I built the Eye of Agamotto, click on the card above or the link in the description of the video. This sling ring was a viewer requested prop and I had a lot of fun making my first cardboard ring. Let me know what you think in the comments below and if you have any requests, I'd really love to hear from everyone. I'd also love it if you would subscribe to my channel and like this video. Thanks for watching and talk to you soon everyone. Bye bye. Forget everything you think you know.